Hello everyone, my name is Danish Buns, and welcome to this episode of A Noob's Review. This is the gaming show where I bring you relatively unknown games or new releases and try and provide some background information on their actual functionality as well as my overall opinion. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also send me an email at camelosilo at gmail.com. The game I'm going to be talking about today is called Foreign Legion Multi Massacre, brought to you by Sakari Indie. This game allows you to take control of a rather Lego-like character in the third person and have you run around with a wide variety of weaponry, killing other Lego-like characters in a mass pool of blood. So first off, what are you actually going to be doing while you play this game? Well, this game is about the progression of your characters, so what you have are a small variety of customization options, and these customization options allow you to unlock weapons such as rocket launchers and assorted assault rifles as well as pistols as you level up and gain funds. Now, you gain funds from playing several different types of game modes. You can play survival style gameplay or domination style gameplay which includes PvP. Now your main goal in these games is of course to survive and kill as many of the opposition as possible while you continue to play through the game. But of course the varying types of gameplay do include capturing and defending objectives for your team as well as massacring as many enemies as possible and helping your other teammates when they go down. Now, I really had quite a few issues when it came to playing this game, but before I get into my personal issues, I'm going to talk about some technical issues that really need to be addressed, one of them being the severe video clipping that constantly occurred throughout the game. If you ever went inside a building, you would have your camera constantly switch back and forth very erratically and have a lot of the wall and a lot of really fast clipping animations occur, which could be incredibly disruptive to the actual gameplay of the game. Another issue I had was with the fact that I actually got stuck at certain loading and game over screens and I pressed every single button on my keyboard as well as my mouse, nothing happened. I was actually getting to the point where I was flipping my keyboard over and pushing it into the table as well as spamming all over my mouse trying to get some sort of reaction from the game and nothing occurred. That was pretty damn frustrating. Another really annoying technical error with the game is the fact that there is so much lag in this game. It is ridiculous. You are only playing with four other players, but you do have a huge amount of sprites on the map, and these sprites are generating so much lag that you may even be in an area where there isn't too much action occurring, but you are still lagging like crazy. Now to get to some of my personal issues with this game, and honestly I think the biggest one is that this game is really bland. The combat in this game is incredibly boring, there is no feeling to actually shooting your gun, and it is really random and sporadic whenever you actually hit someone in the head, even if you're blasting away at their skull. And getting shot is even worse because your health recharges almost instantly. It takes three or four characters to even deplete your health at a steady rate and actually put you in some form of danger. This shouldn't be occurring. You should constantly be in danger when someone is right beside you shooting an automatic assault weapon. Another issue I had with this game was the fact that the AI is absolutely horrendous. It's so bad. The enemy will stand still and shoot at you while you are blowing their heads off. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Now this is probably one of the biggest issues for me when it comes to games like these because when you're playing a game that is really heavily focused on surviving wave after wave of enemy, you really need to make sure that that enemy is actually providing some sort of challenge to the player. If this is just a grind for the player to constantly wipe the enemy over and over and over again, that eliminates all challenge in the game, and if your game is completely based on the fact that you have to hold off gigantic waves of really stupid enemies, you're going to have a lot of really bored players running around and shooting things. And even when you die, there isn't any sort of punishment or sense of punishment because you didn't die because you made a skillful mistake. You didn't die because you were foolish enough to shoot another enemy and attract a gigantic horde of AI players. No, you died because there were simply too many characters on the map and they all overwhelmed you at one moment. 
This is really, really boring and super bland, and it's not fun to play. Anyways, that's it for me. My name is Danish Buns. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also send me an email at camelsilo at gmail.com. I totally forgot what the end of that email address was. If you guys have the Twitters and you like following the peoples on the Twitters, follow me at Danish Buns. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.